On January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger explodes 73 seconds after liftoff. There is heightened coverage of this mission because of Krista McCulloch and the Teacher in Space program. McCulloch is set to teach a lesson to school children from space on the fourth day of the mission. In fact, many kids across the country watched the launch live on TV in their classrooms. The coldest temperature for any shuttle launch had been 62 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature at launch time on January 28th is just 26 degrees. The booster manufacturer recommended a minimum of 53 degrees, warning that otherwise a catastrophic O-ring failure was possible. That failure causes a massive explosion. The crew apparently survives the initial explosion, but with no mechanism in place for them to eject from the craft, they are killed when they hit the ocean surface. President Reagan consoles the nation from the White House that night and quotes a poem, saying that the crew has slipped the surly bonds of Earth to touch the face of God.